Um, buddy, I don't, I don't know what you're doing out here without a shirt on, but I think Shulk sort of did, 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 did cover this, and it seems like you brass this thing as shiny as it can get. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, Gen General Dunban went around his colony and made sure everything was alright before we go around uh, to the upper Bionis and make our way to Valley Mountain. Before, before we go though, we were going to leave, but then we found this guy roaming around, so mm -hmm. we thought, why not? Hello. It looks like they, they've been reconstructing Colony 6. This is my chance. I don't have to spend the rest of my life scavenging in the dirt. I want to make a fresh start in a new town where no one no knows me and my shirtless self. This is a new mechanic. With every time that you upgrade Colony, no Colony 6's housing, you have a chance to find ra random people throughout the world and invite them to Colony 6. And you can do that. I'm waiting for the day you come and say those words. It's not like I could have gone myself. <laughs> It'll be a new beginning for me. See you around, suckers! That does a few things uh, for Colony 6. <laughs> one, 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 it adds it adds to the percentage of uh, rebuilding, increases its population. Weird how it says po population by two and not by one because it's one person going. Maybe unless... he's bringing his wife or something. <laughs> or maybe he's bringing his abs and he and he counts that as two people. <laughs> but it's not just numbers that go up. These guys can uh, I can I can create side quests or even or even bring up shops if they. If you find them, so it is definitely worth your time looking around each town and seeing who wants to come over. This guy uh, Werner, who just uh, recruited, he is a special case that never comes back. He is the only NPC who wants to go to Colony Six, who's not actually in, in a colony or, or residential area per se. Hmm. He's technically out in the wild, so so he's not like from Colony Nine. I, I guess so, but he's not actually in the colony, is he? No. <laughs> no, no, that that's what I mean. Yeah, and it might be hard to overlook him because you don't think to go back to the wreckage site unless you do that heart heart. Unless you are hell bent on making sure you get every, every, every single heart heart, but at the same time, if he kind of blends in, he's a bit, he's out of shot of the heart heart. So yeah, there is <laughs> there's a chance that you could miss him. But don't uh, don't worry, it's not like you have to scour every edge to of the uh, bio of the uh, Bionis, um, like, further find one random guy in the dirt. <laughs> but, apart from that, we have everything done that we want to do in, in Car 9 before we go. So, but that plate snow. Let's go, <laughs> let's go up and let's go to, uh, to snowy pastures. <laughs> but not before, we have a little bit of time to reminisce. <laughs> I just figured it'd be nice. It'd be nice to enjoy the scenery while we can, because where we're going, there's nothing like this at all, and by honest. Mm -hmm. So, there. Yeah, let's have a talk of nature, and who better than Charla and Ricky? Oh, these flowers smell like passion. Ricky feel different. Rick feel passionate. Passionate? Are you feeling all right, Ricky? Ricky loves flowers. I like flowers too. Shall I like line too? Who flowers? Yum yum no. Uh, you eat them. Yes, but also give to why why we pawn it not on custom. Ricky bring flowers home or can hang them on walls. So there's more to you than food after all. You're a good husband. Eh. Ricky not, Ricky not that good a husband. These flowers are such a lovely shade of blue, you know. I think they would suit Melia. How about you pick one for her? It could be a present. Oh, give to Melly? She'd be so happy. Shall I have a good idea? Oh, Ricky wants to do good for Melly. 
That girl's got her head screwed on right, but it can't be easy. She's so uptight. I wish she'd let loose once in a while. Ricky think the same. Many nice bird lady. Hey, why don't I help you? I could look for flowers with you. I know. I think I know what she'd like. Yay, Ricky pick flowers with Shyla. Oh, man, Melly will be happy, happy. As Ricky flies. <laughs> As a hood walks in and goes, yo, I like flowers. <laughs> I like them in my hood. <laughs> that, that I think is a nice little cutscene. Uh, because it shows, like, you know, Ricky. It's not just Ricky being hungry. He's also caring about her. Trevor's wife and Charlotte also hinting and giving some uh, something nice to Melia. Mm-hmm. However, though, if you were to say pick a negative response first and a positive one, you you get this. You get this response. These flowers smell smell uh, like passion. Ricky feel different. Ricky feel passionate. <laughs> Passionate. Are you feeling all right, Ricky? Ricky love flowers. You're getting on a bit. Charla. That called ageism. Not good, Charla. I apologize, Ricky. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Not on all love flowers. <laughs> Ricky smile. Ricky and not but eat them. Wait. You eat them, so, uh, you wouldn't want them as a gift to put on the mantelpiece? Hmm? No! One up on women like flowers as a gift. Ricky pick on flowers if Ricky can't eat it. Eh, Ricky not, e not interested. Somehow, I knew you'd say that. You especially like eating pollen food, right? I heard you have a pollen factory that makes cakes in your village. Oh, Ricky love eating pollen cakes. Ooh. Oh, Charlotte want pollen cakes? Me? I'd like to try one. They're those strange little cakes, right? All shiny and glowing. Yes, I'd love to try one. Okay, Rick and Charlotte, go eat now! What, right now? Oh, sorry, Ricky, I just remembered. I've decided to give up uh, all yellow-colored foods. It's a girl thing, you wouldn't understand. Oh, no problem, Charlotte. Pollen cakes come in all different colors. Any color is a no-no. It has to have no color at all. But you know what? I heard Ryan said he wanted to try one. I'll go get him right now. Wait here. Ricky, wait, wait here. But Shalom must hurry. Oh, Ricky, so hungry. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but just something about Shala just saying, um, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, no yellow food. No, no. Um, um, no, naughty. I hate all colours. I don't like flowers at all. Um, uh, but Ryan, oh yeah, sure. I'm. Um, he would love to eat that food. <laughs> just immediate. Just immediate de deflection. I don't know. It's just so uh, so charming. <laughs> but fun's over. I'm sure Elvis has waited long enough. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk to the high end here. Let's get going. Yeah. I have received orders from Prince Kalyan. I am to take you to Magna Forest in this vessel. Are you ready to uh, depart? Just so you know, this is not a point of no return. Uh, you can come back here anytime. Mm -hmm. But, but if you're all prepped and ready to go, let's go to Magna Forest. Let's go back so we can go forward. <laughs> Wait, what? And it starts shooting stars. <laughs> because the game hates us. Yeah. <laughs> we landed and we all le leveled up. And it just hit <laughs> night time. Yes. How may I help you? Van Mount is up ahead. Always ready to fly back to RFC. This is kind of redundant because you could simply fast travel as Meliot walks up. Says, <laughs> I I let's go back home. I did not like that at all. <laughs> I am I feel air sick. I I feel homesick now too. Can I go back? 
But yet yeah, here we are in a region of Magna Frost in which we have not been n not been to before, which I really like because it, it it expands Magna, Far Magna Forest even more, and that place was already expansive as is. Mm -hmm. But seeing it seems like we have one one Nopon who has a side quest, and yeah. looks like the bridge is out. <laughs> help! Someone help! Doris, look! Help! Bridge broken. It's it's so inconvenient. I know know what I do! If we not fix bridge, it's a big problem for Nopon can knock it back to village. It is inconvenient. Thank you, you if, agree. If the Hyenti hadn't brought us, we wouldn't have gotten here. What a pain. Yeah, it's horrible. But it fades that you here. You might be right. But what do you want us to do? Simple. You must grab materials to fix bridge, dum dum. Fade whole place and local axe crests. Now <laughs> So glad you came to talk talk to me. Thank you. You can count on us. We'll get it done. Sweet! And we still need some hold planks, I assume. <laughs> so we uh, so we shall get those in, in due time. And see, I in trouble. I came to study ruins, but I know I can get back to village. Lupa's gonna be hang angry at me. <laughs> ruins, huh? As soon as I do, they know the local not a uh, not on research a researcher. Mm -hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind next time. But we have uh, a big fish to fry, and we've and um, dawdled on long enough. So let's continue onwards. For now, this place is brief, but still, it's it's nice knowing that uh, the Magna Forest just doesn't end here. Mm hmm. Because it still has a collectibles, it still has enemies, which are now at a better level than what at what we're used to. Mm -hmm. So much so they decided, you know what, attacking you feel, feel, feels good. <laughs> but unfortunately, we've wasted enough time. Let's go. Val Valak Pass. I don't know about you, but that mist. Just get it. It gives me chills every time. Mm -hmm. And Charles picked a poor attire for this. <laughs> Zanza is not dead. I feel it. Our tragedy unfolds once again. Lady Maynard. What does that mean? Indeed, I do not doubt that Egil too is aware. However, why free the Monado? Zanza must realize it is now a double-edged sword. And what reason could he have for choosing the boy? <sighs> what is this? I am experiencing feelings for the boy. Lady Maynard. Venea, your swift repairs are appreciated. Thank you. I wish to see that boy again. To meet with the one who wields the Monada. The boy? But my lady, is that not... Is Egil aware of my reawakening? Uh, he is not. As my lady wished, he knows nothing. Then, there is no need to worry. I shall meet the boy. Besides, the Monado will draw him to me. Flying off without me, huh? I know you from somewhere. Of course, I remember you. You're Jungburn's little sister. From one unchilling moment to another. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to Valak Mountain. Oh, 
I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's home brew right about now. We're not built for this cold. <sighs> it is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Ricky hate cold. This can't be nice for Ricky. He's from Matna. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. Me? You, Shulk. Do you not see? That tall formation that looks like a tower. Ruins, to be precise. Ricky see it? Bigger than Big Tree in Village? We can rest there. I'll explain everything then. Straight away! Can you get a load of this view as Char, Char learns a new art? <laughs> this has got to be by far one of my favourite nighttime sceneries in this entire game. Mm -hmm. Not only do you get a crisp blue night sky, not to mention we've had, a, we've had the beautiful ice, well, as, ren as rendered as it can be, accompanying it, and... And with these yellow sky for laser beams coming from for the gems, but also this soundtrack. I'm gonna be quiet. So you can li listen to it because God, goddamn, it is one of the most peaceful soundtracks for pieces of music in this game. And my God, do I love it! <laughs> There have been many times in which I have gone out on night walks and just listened to this, whether it's been in the winter or anything like that, it just and never fails to be atmospheric and soothing in some ways. Mm -hmm. It's just such a lovely song and with and with this company a atmosphere. On, on a snowy mountain, it may not be the best place to be for you in real life, but my god, I, I've got no complaints with this. <laughs> It is such a good song. As Al is showing here, I highly recommend going to the shops here because this, this gives you a lot of good stuff. It's a good starting point because trust me, you are going to need it. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the enemies from for Magna isn't isn't a telling sign, you are going to then because there is a lot of challenges. And and before I forget, Sha learned a new art, which is Cure Round. It's essentially Cure Bullet buff the entire party. Yeah, it's definitely useful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with Vlog Mountain, because there's gonna be a lot of debuffs and ether monsters to to worry about. Mm-hmm. If you're worried about slow or anything else or anything else like that, Sharla or Dunban in this case where Spirit Breath, it's very useful. <laughs> you are go this I feel is where is where the game Let's the training re 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 wheels off. Mm -hmm. In Machna, it introduced spikes, but didn't I uh, didn't lean so heavily on them. And this one, it throw it throws a lot of things out out towards you. But if I can. I look ahead at the horizon. Look at all those lovely lights. <laughs> that is such a lovely sight. And I know some people make it tired of me saying the skyline is pretty, you know. But seriously, not, and not only does the show a visual standpoint on how good it is, on how good it can look, but also a sense of scale. Because even the farthest lights in which you can see in the distance, odds are 
You could probably you could, you could probably go there. Yeah. <laughs> in in one in one simple shot. Yeah, because you, you can't see p- past because of all the mountains and those lights could be a good guidance of how big this place is. Yes, in one shot you get a you get a lot of things. You get a great atmosphere and a sense of scale. Not a lot of areas, even this game, can accomplish that much in one simple shot. This game does. Even in its preview window, it didn't. And here we have a our first enemy of Valley Mountain. A lot of more, a lot of more and more. Toppling rush. <laughs> that is that that is a, de- a deadly move. Hit a frontal arc, and as it shows, it topples you. As I said, like I said before, this game is done holding your hand. It's leveling up in in many ways, enemy Pe- levels. And so much more. But luckily for you, its toppling rush is is the worst is the worst that it can do, and freezing breath can inflict chill if you're not careful. <laughs> luckily though, it didn't. But still though, it's worth noting. I'd like to imagine that. To, uh, to the best of my abilities, every enemy has at least one danger. And while we'll, we're we'll, we'll going over them, as it goes. I don't think we need to talk about what that da- danger was. Mm-hmm. But still, though, having a circle and an average show damage, that's pretty damning. Yes, it's, it's already looking pretty. Sorry, you're looking a lot more rougher than it was before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is where the game shows another side of itself. Yes, sure, it's been cinematic. Yep. Yes, it's got visuals. It's got the sound. It's got the sound. A, a soundtrack by a long mile. <laughs> but this is where it shows. You know what? We're not just an easy RPG. We're not just a pretty, a pretty face. If you're not careful, this game will kick your ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so going down, not only are I've seen three vamped versions of of enemies that you've seen, one I was seeing an entire entire new side of the Bionis. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna make a slight detour here because this, by far, is one of, is one of my favorite enemies or or places or places in Valley Mountain. You might say, oh, they're just they're just crabs, and they are, you know, on ice. <laughs> Here's the thing: if you run away, <laughs> these crabs and, uh, and these crabs are go are gonna track you down. <laughs> <laughs> this makes such such what, what what would be a mundane fight into something a little bit and en- entertaining, <laughs> and and also and also a little bit challenging as well. Because you think crabbles, oh, they're probably slow, so you could run away from them if you need to. On the ice, these things build up, build up momentum and they can catch up up to you. <laughs> so not only is it funny, it also makes it harder. And of course, I just love, I just love, <laughs> I, I just love the AI partners. <laughs> the AI movement is enjoyment to no end. <laughs> and granted, it can make gathering few deposits slightly annoying, but still. Huh. Wee bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so so has a crash into any few <laughs> deposits. So while we're here, we need to kill these paggles anyway. So let's s- s- uh, give for a sec, and we shall be right back. These, these are probably the e- are these enemies that you are you are you gonna have to fight by far. Mm-hmm. So, uh, at the very start, as many comes slight, 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 <laughs> sliding in. <laughs> oh, I love it. It never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> that 
uh-uh. uh, Ricky's heroic knock on screams. There mm-hmm. go, there goes one cyclist down already, and we get a cold, a cold pie for our troubles, <laughs> or cold pot, either way. <laughs> and, uh, and as we scale down a mountain, which, which, in all honesty, is kind. Of, it's kind of weird how how these games go. No, normally when when you see a mountain, your your normal course is going down it. Yeah. Or, or it's going up it. But hey, what do I know? And we have Antles as well. We're getting more more stronger ver- versions of, of enemies. And as we as we come here, seems like we have a bit of. A bit of a scar. Dare, dare I say, I'm a conus wound. And I think the reason why this place is so cold is because that wound, that wound is cuts off blood circulation. That's, I definitely agree. <laughs> it's just little pieces of that, of store, of store, of, of story and tell, and just adds grand, a grandeur to this place. I don't know. Just environmental story, storytelling. Story I don't think gets enough credit. Where you don't have a, 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 to say anything or have a cutscene for it, you can just see it and be like, "Oh, that makes sense." <laughs> not only, and not, and not only that, it hasn't just affected, it ha- hasn't hasn't affected that one area. It's infected the entire arm, rather by honest. Yeah, the enemies are a lot weaker during the day, which is really not surprising. <laughs> nope, because it's. Warmer in the daytime, I guess. <laughs> but still, it is such a lovely place to be. But something that I feel like doesn't quite match up to to what I've talked about, and I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet for a second, just so you can pro- probably see save yourself. Well, well, no mind. I guess that's done. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, the uh, the song, uh, the song that plays during mag, uh, during, uh, during Valak daytime, I feel it's trying to be a bit more whimsical than what it should be. Yeah, like really Christmassy. <laughs> yeah, or some, also, also like a magical forest or something. Or something like that. <laughs> that's a, that's the feeling that I get from uh, from this. Oh no! Oh no! To me, it just doesn't match 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 the tone, and neither does that. <laughs> that was meant to, meant to be a water slide, and we imme- we immediately die or should die because this is freezing cold water. How Charlotte is not sputtering and just choking to death or just freezing up, Lord knows. Especially in the attire that that she's in. Well, it is steaming within the end. That could also be the condensation. (laughs) Condensation. Hmm. (laughs) I don't want to think about... I don't want to think about the... uh, I'll be honest, it's condensation. (laughs) Ricky called them stinky, stinky fumes. (laughs) My asthma. <laughs> yes. My asthma, my asthma. But it seems from that missed jump, we've made it to a knock on camp. And it seems like the not a knock on scene seemingly are okay here. <laughs> so, so Ricky, stick it out, damn it. <laughs> and that gives us some good stuff. It does. Straight, straight away, you can tell it's given you such a. I, I want to say I want to say a juxtaposition on how much of the good stuff it's giving you, but I want to see what it needs. I kind of get a feeling that things are amping up. And if you just go back for a second to that nut one, that cuckoo. I think so. Have a look at him. Why don't my team go? <laughs> I go to study chickens, but has not. Uh, no, no, it's come back. I know something happened to him. What can I do? 
Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not on our prior uh, priority list, but dude will keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. For sure. But, after that, that though, guys, we have made, made, made halfway down at a mountain. And trust me, this is just a brief, a brief trip. There's a lot more that we have we've had to go through. Mm -hmm. But since Alvis is so insistent, because we kept him waiting for so long, <laughs> I feel like I feel like we owe it to him to get there as soon as possible. So, that's that, guys. But I'll call all things here, and next time, we will be going down fur further the mount mount mountain. That was words. <laughs> we will go further down at the mountain and see what Alvis has to show us. And hopefully find time to heat up Ricky. He's dan she's dancing to keep warm the poor sod. Yeah. We should have kept the fairest skin on him. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it for warmth. But as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.